up, everybody? Welcome to the new set for y'all watching here on Facebook and YouTube. All that good stuff. To uh, Chicken Mold Alley. What's going on, guys? I'm David. I'm Connor. What's up, man? Not much. Admiring the new new studio. But we uh, <laughs> upgraded professional. Uh, well, it, it was, it was a uh, long time in the making there. Yeah. And um, I got to thank my dad, though. He did about 99 percent of it himself because he uh about everything happened when you know i'm at work or something right I'd happen to be home and i'd come in there'd be something built or yep. walls up or a good craftsmanship here i tell yeah. you it was good. <laughs> yeah appreciate both of you it looks awesome yeah it's uh it was fun we uh then i ended up last weekend i was like you know what we're gonna change over i still had a few things to do and i was just like nope if we uh if we don't do it now it won't ever happen, but um, so here we are. We are uh, on the new set, and I'll uh, run a little bit behind because uh, technical difficulty that I figured we have. Yeah, <laughs> because, a slight hiccup, but <laughs> but but we got it. But you know what, ladies and gentlemen, we're gonna keep the show rolling as always, and we're gonna go straight to the phone. Um, your man celebrated a birthday. This past weekend, Tristan McKee, what's going on, man? Can you hear me? Yeah, we got you, man. Can you hear us? Yep, all good. Good deal, oh, buddy. No, I think Tristan felt like a birthday. Good like deal. That. How's it going, man? <laughs> good. How are you? Going good, man. How's a uh, how's being a uh, fourteen? It's going well. Cool, man. That's a uh, that's a uh, uh, that's awesome, buddy. We um uh, forgetting the hit buttons, uh, but. Anyway, all right, here we go. Uh, Tristan McKee on the line here. Man, it was a good weekend for you. Bringing home the victory in the Cars Tour Pro Late Model Series there at North Wilkesboro. Man, congratulations to you. Thank you. It was a good one. Uh, that's cool, buddy. That's uh, and, and what's really cool is um, we actually happened to be at uh, – I'm pretty, you were over, yeah, because I was staying on your trailer, I think, right. Connor, over at Dillon Motor Speedway mm -hmm. last year when Tristan got his first right, win yeah. in the car. Yeah, I remember that. So, yep. uh, so, so, so we've got to see a couple from you, man. That's uh, at, at such a young age, <laughs> you you became you made history. First of all, in the uh, in the Pro Late Models Cars Tour Series, there being the youngest driver to bring home a win, and um, man, you're just keeping it up. That's uh, that's got to be pretty exciting. Yes, it's very. I got that one, and then the Wilkesboro is definitely my biggest one, so that was pretty cool. That's cool, man. Well, tell us a little bit about the weekend, man. Tell us how, how it started out, how you practice when, all that good stuff. Yeah, it started off well. We tested there a few weeks before in that car, and I knew we had a good car. And we came back, and we were really well, really good, and we didn't really make too many adjustments on the car. We were pretty good. Um and we qualified second. I messed up a little bit in qualifying. I hit the line, and it shot me up the track a little bit. And we qualified second, and I was able to get a good restart and clear him on the top on the first corner. And then I knew we had a good car starting off the race. Um, we got out to a little bit of lead and then started to ride a little bit. And then we got a few cautions and just maintained the lead the whole time. Spencer got us around us one time on the restart, and then I got him right back. And... It was a close race at the end. They were pretty good. I was a little bit tight, but it was a good race overall. That's what I was fixing to say, man. You got passed there one time, and uh, and then you were able to take it back over, take the lead back. Um, that was a tough track it looked like to pass on, but uh, it looked like you made it happen, buddy. Yeah, the track was super tough to pass. We had a good short run car, and we fired off good every single time, and we kind of got a little too tight on each run, but on the short run, we were really – that's good, man. That's good. It was a, that was a good close race, man. Um, how, how did it feel after that? Just to uh, you know, I, I know you know the history of the track. You, you've probably heard it enough, as everybody else has. How, how did it feel to be able to ride the elevator in the car up? I was super happy. I said at Hickory after we got spun out, and I was like, I want to ride that elevator, and it was super cool to have that whole experience happen. Well, man, you've uh, you've come a long way in the past couple of years there. Um, but but I want to go back real quick. Let everybody know uh, when did you start racing? I mean, you're young enough still, 14 years old now. Uh, but when did you start racing? 
I started, I believe, when I was five. Um, I did go-karts and then did some bandoleros, a little bit of legend cards. And then my first late model was in Shenandoah, in a late model stock car. And then I did a junior late model in California. And then once I was old enough, last year, when I was 12, I was running the car store and the pros when they lowered the age. And then I've been running that ever since. Yeah, no, man, I, I've seen you, you know, you know, we've talked about it before, you running back and forth and, and starting late model stock and then into the pro late models um, and looking like you wanting to venture back into some late model stock stuff now. Yeah, I just got a little old enough on Saturday and we ran the late model stock. It was going well. We ended up having a right front tire blow out, but it was a good time for our first one. That's cool, man. That's cool. I, I I was watching you and pulling for you, man. I was like, man, that's a uh, that's a good story there when you can come in there and and uh, win the pro late model side and then go have a g- good run still, regardless. I mean, you can't help what happens with tires sometimes. I just out of our control. Yep. Um, but man, that was a uh, that was cool to see, man. Uh, so 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 what's the uh, what's the goal? I mean. It, you, you want to move up to uh are you looking to move up to the or move to the i ain't gonna really say up because pro yeah, pro late model, late model yeah. stock i mean they're pretty pretty competitive but are you looking to make the move maybe next year uh to uh late model stocks yeah i mean definitely we're gonna do some of that stuff and maybe some pro stuff and supers but yeah that's awesome man that is awesome well cool buddy um well man i so uh i'm assuming you know as any young driver and i hope you would too but uh the goal is to reach as far as you can you know throughout this racing Mm -hmm. journey and and i know you got some good partners with you now right yep that's cool man that's cool that's that's awesome to uh to see that and uh but go ahead and uh tell everybody who uh who all helps you out on that car man who all making it happen for you yeah the sets of racing guys they bring us a good car and we've been just dialing it and tuning it in and the past few weeks has been really good and just everybody who helps us wise josh wise scott speed lauren dan Matt, everybody my parents grandparents all the guys on the sensor team Team Chevy, just everybody. That's cool, man. We um, we actually we talked to Katie Hittinger before. Um, you know, with the whole Chevrolet deal and stuff, and working with Josh Wise, that dude is a uh, a wealth of knowledge for racing. I mean, um, he he seems to really know what's going on and know what need to do for for you young guys coming up. And uh, what's it like to work with him? Yeah, he's great. He knows a lot. He's very smart in that stuff. That's cool, man. Well, buddy, I sure appreciate you coming on and uh and hanging out with us for uh, first guest uh, on the phone here on our new studio. So uh, appreciate you coming on and uh and yep. jumping in with us, buddy. And uh man, I hope to have you back here real soon. Uh, you know, talking about some more wins, and I feel like we'll definitely be doing it. Yes, sir. Thank you. All right, buddy. Appreciate it. Have a good one. Yep, you too. All right, everybody. Tristan McKee. Bringing home the uh, the win there at North Wilkesboro and the Pro Late Models. Couldn't celebrate it long. He had to get in the late model stock right after. Dude, that's what I was thinking he, about. He, he was I know, around I the was elevator. Too. I was wondering how long he could hang around before he had to hop in the next one. But I was too. That's and a good I, problem to have, I guess. And I realized, and Connor was telling me to click something, and I click, couldn't somehow click delete on it. I don't, <laughs> I don't know what happened. I failed there, Connor. It's all right. It's all right. We're, we're working the kinks out. <laughs> <laughs> me working kings, <laughs> working kings out of me apparently. Uh, Douglas, sure appreciate you, buddy. Appreciate you. He said, "Love new studio." Appreciate you, man. It's um, yeah. It was a uh, this has been a thought for a long time, and me and Connor's talked about it. Um, uh, and I felt like I've been talking about it forever, you know, mm-hmm. saying, "Hey, we gonna get a new studio and get a new studio, get a new studio," and uh, it was coming along. It just, yeah. <laughs> it don't matter what, how much you want it. You ain't gonna do it without AC. No, <laughs> in the summertime no. here. So. We finally got some in here, and uh, it's uh, it feels all right right now. It feels all right yeah. right now. We still, we still got more AC to come in here actually, yeah. <laughs> but it, but it's all right. I can uh, deal with this. Oh yeah, I can deal with this. Yeah. So um, anyway, uh, yeah, Tristan McKee wins the uh, Pro Late Model race there. Kind of 
was class of the field. Yeah, he dominated race. really. Yeah, he was he was good. Like I said, he did get past there one time, and uh, but was able to work his way right back around, which is something you didn't really see a lot yeah. of people do uh, there in the pro late models or late model stock. It was so hard to pass. Yeah. I saw, I knew him qualifying when they were just going into one and two, and not even coming close to the bottom, just yeah. going there. Staying in the gas, I knew it was going to be. I mean, it's new asphalt. What are you going to do? You're right. Um, Especially with the limited horsepower. Yeah. I mean, it's a lot, but, you know. Relative limited horsepower. (laughs) We'll put it that way. It's just going to take a a year or two to wear off the new of the asphalt, and I think it'll be back pretty good racing, I think. That's right. Um, Late model stock race uh, got pretty exciting there. Um, (laughs) Yeah. For not the right reason. No. No. <laughs> um, first couple laps, car looked like might have cut a tire down, I think. And uh, they've been having some problems with that. Well, I had heard. I was talking. Actually, me and Chad were talking, um, and he said he'd heard something about you know because the new tire is just well the tire that they had to run on that track which I think is called the ST3, I think it really? is. I know they had one made for the higher loads, yeah. like yeah. Wilkesboro. I think they were trying to get Rockingham, right. stuff like that. And they say it is hard as this tabletop right here, <laughs> essentially. So to try to get it to grip, they're just, they got to take air pressure out of it. Well, somebody pulled one off the rim the other day. <laughs> oh, gosh. Just from running such low yeah. air and so many – and so much side force on that tire, it's got to be. I mean, they're flying. I mean, they're, they're running 18 second lap times, 17 Dude, second lap times. Rolling. Yeah. It's rolling. I mean, you think about that. Um, that track is, what is it, like six tenths? Of I don't know. It looks, it looks a it's little It's bigger big. than a half mile. <clears throat> yeah. And let's say, let's just use Dylan, for example. Um, it's four tenths of a mile, and we're, we're running. 18 mm-hmm. second laps, yeah. we around there, give or take. Um, we think about Myrtle Beach, and I think that track's right. a little faster than Myrtle, b- bigger than Myrtle Beach, and it was yeah, 20 second lap times, I think. That's right. I can't remember what it was right. in there. So, uh, they were getting that's it. toting to me. Yeah, they were, they were flying. I was, you know, you tried to listen to it on flow racing, and I, and I was trying to hear, especially, well, when they finally got sound back yeah. in the <laughs> Um, <laughs> it just sounded like, I mean, it's just, just slam the gas, out. yeah, and then a couple of them. Almost messed up down in one and two. Yeah, they were, I mean, it was like staying the gas. They were just hoping it stick. You know, hope right. they didn't lose the front end. But it was, it was exciting. It was, it was. I was, I was looking forward to that race. But I'm looking forward. I'm hoping, I'm hoping they just keep that on schedule. I think after about the track had to be repaved. I mean, yeah, I mean, there was no way around it. It yeah. was rough shape. You couldn't. There wasn't no patching you were going to do to make it better. I mean, it just. You had to repave it. Um, I'm just hoping after maybe a winter or two up there, uh, they did a kind of kind of get back yeah. racy, give them multiple grooves. And I think it will because – and the reason I say it will because actually earlier in the year, the truck race was not a bad race. Yeah. Truck race was pretty good. Now, the cup race, they couldn't pass yeah. either. But, I mean, the cup race on the old asphalt wasn't – very good either. Couldn't pass either. either. Couldn't so, I think that's just product of yeah. car. So, well, the late model race did get hampered by that pile yes. up, you know. And it, that's very why early on. Go. Um, so yeah, restart after wow. the first one. I mean, what lap eight or something? Yeah. Was, was it that early? Yeah, it was. The uh, the eventual winner, uh, Trayton Lapsovich. Did I get that right? Close oh. enough. <laughs> um. Apparently, Mr. Schiff said he had some problems. Said it had had some problems with the clutch there, um, in there. One of the last time at Hickory, I'm assuming, and I guess it brought the same car and didn't take transmission out. Apparently, um, and I guess it just didn't go into gear. Basically, yeah. he went to shift fourth, and it caused the biggest stack up behind him. Uh, they, were they, probably, they were all so close on each other. They don't give any room. And I don't ever understand yeah, that. I, well, I get that the fact of you can't pass, so you yeah, know you I guess better. You got to get it where you can. Right. You know, On a restart, you better be ready. Mm-hmm. Well, they were ready. <laughs> yeah. 
and there were some people that wasn't ready. So, well, when when you're so close on each other's bumper, one little, you know, you know, um, checkup's gonna just. I mean, you saw it happen, it, and it happened what five, six cars deep in the line, and then yep. you just couldn't. There's no reaction time anymore. Nope. But I hate to see that because that was they talk like it had pretty big points implications. Well, it could have. Um, and I was looking at them, though, and actually it was funny because Butterbean had then figured it up by the time they were doing interviews. Oh. Um, he had cut the points to like 13 points, but Connor Hall actually, it wasn't as bad because he came back and still finished 18th. Yeah, I know. With a so, whole front end off of Yeah, he, ca- he drove it up to 13th and then had something happen. I can't remember what happened. Flat was a flat tire. I, don't I can't remember. Yeah, um, he said what happened. But I can't remember. But anyway, uh, so yeah, butter being cut into it, but it wasn't as much. But there's still a lot of racing to go. Right. Um, they still got what was I looking at? Um, they got is it Ace? I think Ace is Ace. Next. Then Wake County. Oh, that's and then Florence. That's crazy. Wow. So they have two more before Florence. I thought maybe just one more. Yeah. Florence is the end of this month. Yep. Right? That's so, right. Hitting it hard. Yeah. I wish Florence had two dates. I don't know why. I don't know how Ace and some of these tracks get two dates, but either. Florence doesn't. I don't either. But at least, it'll be, at least be, it'll be a big race. It'll. I think it'll have a lot of hype around too. it. I do with too. Darlington Week and everything. Um, I just looked also, uh, just to let y'all know, it was just announced just a little while ago. The uh, Star Super Stock Series Tour. Star Super Stock Tour. We had to get Boo Carlisle on here to talk about it. Uh, they just added them to the Saturday portion. Um, with all the with legends of bandos. And bandos and all that. So. Cool. That'd be a cool I'd, I'd like to have a good Street Stock Series. I know that one took off good. And then it kind did. of fell back. But I think it's, I think it's, st- I think it's even now. I think it's. It has. All the way in a little bit. Um. Uh, real quick, we'll go ahead and finish up the the North Woods Road. And I want to talk about that, actually, so remind me if I forget. <laughs> um, like we said, and then after that wreck, really, um, there was a couple flat tires and stuff here and there, and I think one little spin. Um, nothing crazy after that too much I, yeah. that I remember. Outside there, of the leader almost wrecking with well, that's why yeah. That, yeah, and that's what I was fixing to say. One of them... Uh, uh, da, da, da. Who was it? Was in, it was um, I can. It was like a fifty five, twenty two. I, I but anyway, it was one of the, yeah. Anyway, uh, somebody had spun out. Trayton Lapsovich went down into turn one. Wasn't it three, 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 three? That's right. I was half sleep watching. I ain't gonna yeah, lie. I it was, was late. After <laughs> I was wore out. Rain delay. And everything yeah. Else. And um, <clears throat> so he goes out in the corner. And it did not look like there was enough room for that car. No. I don't, Which he, he's brushed the wall a little bit, but. Yeah, but. It looked like he was going to. I was, I was like, he's either in the door or in the wall. One or two. Somehow he squeezed through there. I, it was it was impressive. And he was sliding through the oil at the same yeah, time. It so. was a little bit of luck, but it, I mean, it was. It was. He, 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 was, was, he was able to steer it through that little gap, which he was, was. He was driving. That's good. Sure. I, I hate to see him leave the whole race and that happened to him. Yeah. But. So that was that was that was sketchy. That, that was probably he probably yeah. hated to see that, but he he saved it, kept going. Yep, for sure. Um, and then so he slides on through and uh, ends up going on to win the race. Fault butter being there for a little while. Um, I like to know what I need to text him and see. Butterbean said something was going on with the car that they knew about the whole weekend and couldn't do anything about it. He said they were pretty upset with it, and something happened at the shop. I'm like, what happened? Yeah, that's, I don't know <laughs> what, what happened. I don't know. That's, that's I'm like, well, apparently it wasn't that bad. He said, but he was surprised he could even run second. Wow. As long as he did. And so, uh, but him and Minnie Tyrell kind of had some words there on Didn't pit they? road. Yeah, because Minnie went down in, I think on White Flag or coming to the White Flag, uh, there was a ton of oil dry after that. Yeah, I, I do remember that, yeah. And many went down into three, I think it was, or middle of three and four, and just kind of booted Butterbean 
up the track. Mm-hmm. And then he said, he's like, dude, that was, he said, I wasn't trying to spin you or anything. He was like, I was just trying to move him up. I hate that there was oil dry there for you, you know. Um, so Butterbean was kind of upset about being drove. He said, man, we raced, you know, he was kind of like, we raced all that time and didn't really, you know, mm-hmm. casual rubbing, but yeah. nothing. And then to try to get second out of it and then it actually ended up hurting many too he ended up dropping back to third um i don't know it's racing yeah they were all over the place there they were for sure there was a ton of oil dry man even even after that first pile up yeah that looked sketchy yeah it was uh it was something else so uh i don't know so anyway trayton lapsovich takes home the uh victory there um at at North Wilkesboro in the uh, Window World 125 or mm-hmm. whatever it is, I think it is. I really do like to do one again the first time they opened it where they had all the street stocks and dude, that was a, that was actually a cool race. Modifies thought, there, that was all. I thought that's I understood why they had it scheduled the way they did to come with NASCAR and stuff like that, but I'm like, man, if you kind of give it a short track weekend mm-hmm. by itself and the Cars Tour could headline. I mean, right. the first time wasn't that wasn't a car store race, was it? The first, I think it was. Was it? I can't remember. Yeah, maybe it was. Um, but regardless, you kind of give it that short track weekend with the, mm-hmm. you know, you some limited Thursday, late Friday, models. Saturday, yeah. Yeah. Modifieds were there. Yeah, modifieds, all that. And street stocks, everything. And I think that I think that's the way to go, personally. Yeah. Um, I like that a whole lot better myself. So. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, I want to go ahead real quick while we're talking about it. Um, our fine friends over at SRI Performance. <laughs> we got a banner. Yeah. <laughs> we got a banner. It looks good. Uh, I like this banner. I like this banner a lot. Um, but anyway, guys, head over to SRI Performance. Connor headed up there the other day. Yep. Actually picked up some parts from me. Yep. Did you look around while you was in there? A little bit, yeah. It was, <clears throat> it was neat. I knew, I was, that was my first time being there, at least that I can remember. And it was, uh, it was a cool experience. Did you head back to the used part? Well, that's where I spent most of my time. <laughs> exactly. I love that place yeah. back there. And I just I just hold stuff back there. And I'm like, what can I do with this? I feel like there's <laughs> something I can do with it. <laughs> um, but uh, guys, head over to SRI Performance. Uh, they are the one-stop shop for all things racing. And as it says back here, tool supplies, race parts, and more for all disciplines of racing as it says right here, right here behind me. <laughs> so uh, y'all head over to SRI Performance, get all, everything you need, everything. And I actually they, saw Jordan Anderson walk through there. Did he? Yep. Yeah. While well, we were sitting there trying to find your stuff. You didn't book him for the podcast? No. I was just surprised. It took me a minute to realize who, I knew I, I recognized him as somebody. And then I was like, oh, that's who that is. Did I tell you my Derek Cope story? Maybe, but I don't, I don't remember now. I'll tell you my Derek Cope story real quick. <laughs> Because this was at SRI. Um, I was there. Uh, me and a buddy of mine, Trey Kelly, was actually on the way to uh, North Wilkesboro that day. And uh, we went to go do, and I was, we were filming it and doing a little live thing, showing everybody the store. And show, we were about to head through the used parts section, kind of where it goes from the new stuff to the used parts. And there's a counter right there. Well, we're going around there and, uh, um, our buddy Eric Molyneux, he's a uh, you know the the, part, the sales manager there. He's showing us around, showing everything there, and um, we go around, go walk through everything. He shows us everything, and we're filming it and everything else. And we come back and we're done. And a buddy of ours standing at the counter, guy that works there, he's like, "Man, y'all y'all didn't." want to talk to him i was like who he was like daytona 500 champion Derek cope was sitting right here he's like are you serious <laughs> <laughs> i was like i didn't even see him i was just i was focused on doing what we were doing i didn't even see him. he was sitting right there at the counter and i went back and rewatched the video we come around there he is he turns around smiles or kind of looks at the camera and <laughs> we just keep on going it's like Oh man, I probably wouldn't have recognized him. I, I well, like I said, I don't know that I even saw him. Yeah. I, I may have, I don't know. Um, so it was it was kind of funny. <laughs> it 
that was funny. But that just tells you, everybody shops at SRI. If uh, I don't care if you're in the NASCAR side, if you're in the uh, the street stock side, if you're in the 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 late model stock side, dirt, asphalt, whatever you need, they got it. Head over there. Um, tell me sent you. Uh, go online www.sriperformance.com and uh, and get that cart loaded up. And uh, when you go to check out, put in that promo code C Bone Ten. That's C is in chicken. B O N E one zero and get yourself ten percent off there at time of checkout there at SRI Performance. Also, same deal over at Stock Car Steel and Aluminum. <laughs> they uh, they got all the materials you need, guys. So uh, y'all head over to Stock Car Steel and Aluminum, and uh, they get you all hooked up with everything you need material-wise. I know, I know some of these big races been up, and uh, and and these guys been tearing up some stuff. So uh, y'all head over there, get every, whatever you need to uh, to fix that car back up and get it ready to go. So y'all y'all go see them over at Stock Car Steel and Aluminum. Tell me sent you. Also, Earl Ramey Racing Engines, guys. Or Ramey Racing Engines. Um, I don't care what you got. If it is a, if it's a race car and it has a motor, <laughs> pretty much uh, a V8. If it's got a V8 in it, Earl Ramey's got you hooked up. So y'all head over to Earl Ramey Racing Engines. Uh, Gets time on his chassis dyno. Everything you need to figure out what all that car needs, and they'll uh, they'll hook you up. Also, Pro Fab headers and exhaust. Right, right there. Right now, <laughs> change the location of our yeah monster. <laughs> yeah, I'm 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 moving some stuff around for right now. We got to get a banner for that wall, so um, I just move those there above your head for now. <laughs> All right. <laughs> uh, so guys, head over to uh, Profab Headers and Exhaust, and they can uh, hook you up. Um, I was looking, at, man, they had so many drivers win this weekend. Um, that have Profab headers on their cars. So uh, y'all head over there, talk with our buddy Andy, tell him we sent you over there. So, um, you brought up street stock stuff and said you would like to see a good series. And I, and I am with you. I am with you 100%. Street stocks are probably my favorite class of racing, even though I've never driven, well, yeah. I driven one on dirt kind of one time, practiced it. Um but other than that, never driven one. You ever driven one? No. no. But I love them. I, that just, it reminds me of old school NASCAR. Um, There's as many body types as there are cars. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. And it's just, it reminds me of the day when people talked about, you know, you went to a junkyard and found you old car, you know, thought would run good and they drug it out the junkyard and rebuild it and and made it a race car and stuff like that. So that's what that's what I feel like street stock is. Now, I get the point of there's not any nineteen seventy nine Camaros no. in the junkyard hardly anymore. If they are they rusted away. Um and it's a lot different finding a uh I don't know, uh, 2013 Kia yeah. <laughs> in the junkyard because yeah, you can't do that. They don't make, they don't make, no, you know, the Camaros they make now, you're not going to turn those into a race car. No, I am with you on that, Matt. He said we need to bring back the old cruiser bruisers. I love that class. Even the Thunder and Lightning is it's pretty That's cool. I it to just say. can't ever seem to quite. Well, I thought Thunder and Lightning, when they brought it out, I'm like, man, this is going to be a good series. It's going to be a good or, you know, class, whatever. Um, they had eight inch tires on them and, and they were, well, they ended up having some trouble finding eight inch tires, blah, blah, blah. They switched them over to the big tires. I'm like, man, no. I, I, I remember when at, I, back in the day, and I know there's probably a bunch of class, um, you know, they ran, a lot of them ran recaps, old recap car tires. If they allowed a slick on it, it was on the right front only. Just that way you didn't blow the right front yeah. out, you know, and put it in the wall. And I was, you know, that was okay. And then they started allowing right sides be slicks. Then all of a sudden it became... All the way around. All the way around. 
And now street stock has almost turned into a a limited late model almost type class. I've seen some. I hate see some of these people that are talking about. You know, we built this street stock from the ground up, and it's like it, it, just you didn't pristine build a street condition. Stock. Yeah, I know. It's, <laughs> you built a late model. <laughs> no, nobody, none, none of the actual street stocks wouldn't run against that. No, and I and I think we're we've opened up rules too much. No, I I. I if you want to name a class, just like let's say in dirt, they have they have the stock eight now, which is kind of like TNL. Uh, then they have the street stock, which is same thing, street stock. Then they have what they call a super stock, and super stock is kind of it's still a street stock, but they put whatever motor in them, and they got a little more open rules on shocks and springs and stuff like that, and a couple more little things and. You know, if I, I I'm kind of like you know, if you want to have these big series and cars that are like that, okay, let's name that a super stock, like the Star Super Stock series. Okay, I get that. That is a super stock. Mm-hmm. Now, I can I can go with that, but I don't know. I'm just I still wish we could go back to because the thing is, all right, this is my thing. One hundred percent, you cannot go into junkyard and find what we were just talking about. But I can look in many, many magazines right now. You can still buy aftermarket. They're aftermarket, but they are factory correct Monte Carlo chassis. Um, you can buy a Camaro chassis, mm-hmm. you know, and there's still bodies out there, aftermarket bodies that you can put on them. And I just, I like the thought of, you know, putting a roll cage on that and turning that into a race car myself. Yeah. I don't know. I'm just... It's just... I don't know. It's hard to ever de- de-engineer. It is. You know? It is. And that's why one of the reasons is, and I've talked with a couple people, um, and I've seen, who is it? Cletus McFarland in there. They got that... Uh, uh, the, 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 the um, What is it? The Crown Vic. Crown Vic Racing, yeah. Crown Vic <laughs> Racing. Dude, that's almost like a perfect street stock. I mean, it really is. I mean, it's it's a big car. It's a four door car, so it's a little more. Yeah. But I mean, that is almost today's version of real street stock racing. Right, yeah, you know, it's a V eight car, rear wheel drive, and they take a car, throw a cage in it, and you can't do anything to it. I like it. I like it. So uh, I don't know. I don't know. Um, there wasn't much other racing this week. As as Wilkes Boro was raining, I switched over to several tracks on flow, and like they had all rained out. Yeah. So you, you, we just talked about though. You went up to uh, SRI the other day. What else you go hit up in the, um, the race city area? Yeah, we went to the racing electronics to get my helmet wired up. And um, while we were waiting on that, and you know, waiting on uh, your parts, we went over to the Hendrick Museum, cool. kind of our our usual stop. Went and saw. My dad's friend, he works at Stewart Halls, and had lunch with him. And um so go to the shop, or y'all just met him? Oh, we we met him at the shop. We didn't okay. walk, walk. We didn't walk I around the you. shop. But we just went and ate lunch. I got you. And that was that was about it. That was where'd you hit up for lunch that day? Um, some place, some little burger shop. We, did. we were going to go to Fresh Chef if you know it was just us, but it, right. we, we, <laughs> if it's it, in the area you're yeah, in, <laughs> he, he just took it. He took us to a little. I can't remember what it's called now. I just like, I, I'm the same way, though. I like hitting up new restaurants mm-hmm. when I'm in places I'm not normally in. Yeah. <laughs> so, so but, nice. um, yeah. You get everything done, get your head all wired up. Yeah, we got it all stuff. done. We, um, wish we'd have had a little more list of parts while we were up there. <laughs> you know, we were kind of walking around SRI, not really knowing. We, I mean, obviously, we still we could get, but we, we didn't really have yeah. a list of what we were looking for. But between all that and North Carolina traffic, it took a good part of the day. But um, it's a good little trip. I feel you there for sure. I bet it was packed up there. Yeah, just they're building a bucky, They're about to build a Bucky's in the middle of all that. Are they? Yeah, right there in Mooresville. Mm. Like that four eighty five and all need. that was yeah yeah. I'm like y'all y'all are crazy because <laughs> Florence isn't busy, but Bucky's made one intersection busy as I don't know what. Yeah, yeah, that's my intersection, and it's got three stoplights and. Yeah, everything else. But used to be nothing there. I mean, there was there well, was a truck stop yeah, yeah. and some little stuff, but it, you could breeze right through it. Wouldn't oh, do it. There's no doubt. They're not, I, I told Dad, I don't know how it's, for too long. It's going to be like a mall out there 
Because the amount of people that go to Bucky's, you, you got to think these businesses yeah, they, wanting to drop a... Well, they were wanting to. Actually, I saw it on the news the other day. Um, rezoning and all that. Yeah. and But now the people over there are like, no, we don't want anything else built over there. <laughs> and I'm like, nah, Bucky's didn't buy that land for, for them yeah. to... Not because they done put a Taco Bell out there in a the liquor store. Yep. I'm like, yep, y'all really got it covered. Yeah. <laughs> oh, fun, 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 fun. Uh, cool, man. Cool, 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 cool. Well, let's go ahead and talk about it real quick since you were just talking about Fresh Chef, ladies and gentlemen. If you are up in the Race City area, for sure, stop at one of the multiple locations of Fresh Chef, uh, daily drink and food specials. And everything you can think of up there is uh it's good stuff for sure. For sure. It's uh it's real good. So y'all uh y'all head up to uh Fresh Chef and uh tell me we sent you up there. Also, Dixie Made. Dixie Made right here in Florence, South Carolina, right out here by the flea market. So uh when y'all come in town for the race here at the end of the month or passing through, you know, once you stop at the Bucky's and just come on down because it's on the same road. <laughs> and uh, head over to Dixie Made. They got all your favorite brands of clothing from head to toe and all kind of other cool accessories that you can uh, you can think of and want and need. And so y'all head over to Dixie Made right here in Florence, South Carolina. Also, MPM Marketing, McAllister, Precision Marketing. Uh, What's well, cool, ladies and gentlemen, y'all see that logo every time you watch a Cars Tour race. Uh, it's flashing across the screen. Um, you need to, uh, you, all the young folk getting into racing, you got to have a good, uh, a really good um, uh, marketing partner to really know what you're doing. So uh, y'all head over to marketwithmpm.com. Tanya can get you in front of all the faces that you that you need to be in front of and all that good stuff. So uh, y'all head over to marketwithmpm.com. Also, RevMax Racing Apparel. Uh, if you're looking for suits or gloves and all kind of stuff, uh, y'all head over to RevMax Racing Apparel, and uh, they get you hooked up, get you hooked up on all the – if you need the uh, multi-layer – SFI approved stuff like we do. Uh, they got you covered. Uh, if you also, if you're a go kart racer, uh, you can uh, need just a single layer suit. They got you covered on that too. So y'all, uh, y'all go check it out. Get it, get it while it's hot. I guess. All right. Um, Florence Motor Speedway did a did a race. Yeah. Um, a little. A little. <laughs> Before the rains came. Uh, I know they got the uh, the, the vintage mini, race, the vintage race uh, and mini four cylinders. Four cylinders. Yeah. Kevin Jackson won it, mm -hmm. uh, and the, the trucks that started trucks started. And they threw the caution and limited late models. They got limited they did race late models. That, yeah. That's right. Um, only had a few cars in it, unfortunately. I guess I think rain really held a lot of people out. Yeah, and I can understand it. I mean, especially when you got travel or something like that. Mm -hmm. This, eh is what it is it stinks so they uh fortunately they got did get some of it in uh florence motor speedway will be back in action on the 17th of this month um i'll probably head over there for something yep. i don't know what you think probably so probably yep in a at least a legend or maybe so maybe <clears throat> so cool um I, I do want to say if anybody's in the area this weekend um, there's, there's not any necessary racing going on right around here other than, I'm not sure, something there. Or Lakeview. Lakeview. Or something I know like they that. tried to race this past weekend, and they all got rained out. Um, and they're probably going to get washed out this week, too, yeah. just from, if it ain't raining Saturday, we're supposed to get many, 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 many inches of rain. So, yeah, we shall see. 15 or 18 or something. A lot. Yeah. <laughs> so anyway, Saturday, if we're not flooded, uh, over at the Hartsville Airport, I will be out there, and I will have both race cars out there. Uh, Rise Arrows putting uh, putting on an event called Wings Over Hartsville uh, at Hartsville, South Carolina. Uh, I'm going to race an airplane with the Legend car. Really? Yeah. Awesome. They're going to be in there coming down. And you think you what kind of? I don't know. Well, what are the what are the odds here? I, I don't know. I'm really. I, <laughs> it's I, interesting. I, it is one of these that I have no clue. I'm like, eh, 
I'm like, what kind of start do I get? Am I at, do I get, you know, he's back here and I get to start or, you know, I'm waiting till he's here to start. How much, um, how long are you going to race? I guess a good portion of the runway. So say, how many, you going to grab fifth gear? I'm going to grab, I'm going as high as I can go yeah. until I hit rev limiter. See how, see what I can get. Uh-huh. I hope I don't hit him. I hope somebody, I hope I don't somebody hit better record that. I want to see that. I hope so. Yeah, well, everybody's going to be out there. Mom and Dad's going. Um, Kayla and the boys are going. Uh, we all going to come out there. Tell Matt he need to come on and bring his cars out there. We'll race around. We'll race down Seven, the runway. Three wide race. We'll do it. Um, so uh, we'll, uh, we'll, we'll we'll race all we can. We'll drag race. We'll make a little course around there. Awesome. <laughs> on the, that's, that's, pretty, the airport. that's pretty cool, though. It is pretty cool. Yeah. Uh, and they're going to have a little bit of um, – it's not like a um, – I don't want to get anybody the impression that this is a like an air show, like with jets and stuff, but this is more of a small aircraft. And they do a lot of skills competition stuff over there too, which is really kind of cool. They, uh, they'll – the spot landing competition where, you know, they mark a spot mm -hmm. and they got to try to – that's where the their wheel touch down. Um, and then uh, – they have a flower drop contest. They put a big target out, and they drop these. They'll have like bags of flour, and they'll drop flour out the airplane mm -hmm. and try to land it on and the target. It, wow, that's they got cool. to be at a certain height. Yeah. So, um, and then they go have a. <laughs> I hear you there. Um, they go have some car shows out there and um, Neat. car truck. Yeah. Um, I hope it. Last year they had a, a RC flight. A, uh, yeah, plane club out there, and they were dude. Them things were insane. Dude had a dude did have a couple. They had a few jet RCs. Yeah, I've seen some there. of those. Them things were insane. Yeah, they were really cool to watch. But they gonna have face painting for the kids and um, food trucks and all that good stuff out there. Awesome. Free, free of charge. So y'all come on out to uh, the Hartsville Airport. So neat. Anybody's around here? that would be a cool place to be. that would be from ten to two on Saturday. Um, what else we got going on? I don't know. What I was just admiring how much cleaner you race compared to our doors there. <laughs> no, 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 no. Yours is, yours is perfect. No, no, no. Well, there's a black mark that you can't see, but, um, that door was on the car for one race. <laughs> <laughs> that was the very first race very I raced in the car. Wow. And there's a hole uh, right up under where you can't see, uh, just out of frame there, uh, there's a hole in that door. <laughs> Um, and actually sitting over here is the shock, the shock head that, that, that is bent <laughs> that happened in the same wreck. Wow. So I, I can say I've knock on wood, have gone a couple years and have not really, I kind of wrecked one night in legend cars and we fixed that in about 10 minutes. When was that? Uh, Florence last year. Labor Day weekend race. Um, I think it was. It was one of the Darlington races. Yeah, it was Labor Day weekend. And because uh, Mamba was right in front of me. Oh, and one of those and, races? And yeah. Did I, I, look, I went Dukes of Hazard over somebody and just come down and it, it took the, the bracket that steering box or steering racks on and just bent it back. Yeah. I think that's the night I decided not run the second race. That was smart. <laughs> well, the, the early Darlington race, I think it was in May. I had that same feeling that I shouldn't go back out there, and I got tore up in the second race. And so when I got that feeling again, I said, we just going to call it there. Yeah. So that was, uh, yeah. But so in saying that, I went out the very first race in the big car. My first race in the big it. car. I'm not the bumper off of it. But I did finish the race. Yeah. I did finish somehow with a broke shot and everything mm -hmm. else. I was really loose, but I was like, I am running these laps. Yeah. <laughs> But anyway, anyway, anyway. So what else got? What you up to this weekend? Uh, I don't know. Might ride out there with Matt, test the five car there you for go. free. Um, I don't know. We have the little eye race tomorrow night. Hopefully, yeah. We hopefully, do it'll have go that. better for me. How was that last week? It was good. I think I could have ran fourth maybe, but it this the straightaways were so short. I couldn't punish anybody for getting a bad exit. You know, I get yeah. up under them, and then I don't know. It was it was fun that these these flat Virginia tracks are definitely not my best ones. I don't feel too confident about tomorrow either. But um, Where it, we at tomorrow Langley Langley. Ooh. 
I need to practice. <laughs> yeah, I, I did practice a little bit this time. That's probably what hurt me last time. I didn't practice a whole whole lot, but I don't know. Just just didn't quite have as much speed as I had the first two races. But I, it was it was still a good time. Still you got good. spun out there or spun yeah, out? Yeah, well, um, I was trying to work him up. He was trying to hold me down. I don't know. It it, it was just a and my my right rear was so wore out that when we hit it was just which I I mean I saved it before it went yeah. all the way around, but through the caution, but. I ended up finishing the exact spot like that I was spot, running, so, so it was fine. It was uh, it was fun nonetheless. Though it was good. And okay. I had to miss. We uh we took the car over to our buddy Chad Webster's, and um we have now changed. Uh, I guess I'm up to date with some people. I guess I don't know. I don't know if it's uh, we switched from big spring to coilovers on the front of our car, uh, and found a bunch of stuff on it that needed attention so it was a good thing uh then went and picked it up saturday and good deal i gotta go test something we'll try and ride but, it one day yeah once we you know i know this week's not, not looking raining. good for you yeah <laughs> i told him i said we might end up out there sunday afternoon if the track isn't flooded yeah so we'll see we'll see how that goes and i don't know we shall see um uh, if, if y'all are watching on facebook here um or anybody turns out watching, y'all see we got we, we got some diecast. Connor contributed to this uh, cool yep. Richard Petty diecast. Um, uh, Matt there contributed actually the rest of them. Um, I like the sprint car. Bobby the Bobby Bobby Hill in a uh, Holly Meyer number ninety car. I wasn't necessarily a fan of, it, but I was not a fan of it. I always, I like the color of that yep. car though. I always did. I don't know. And we got some sprint cars over here. Bob Olson and. Uh, Somebody, I can't remember who was that. Westmid, Westmore, is yeah. that the sponsor? Right there beside the door. Yeah. Andy Hillenberg. Yeah, that was Andy. That's right. That was Andy Hillenberg. This was Doug Wolfgang. That's right. So, uh, sorry, you sprint car guys. I'm not up on all my sprint car knowledge. <laughs> I'm not at all. But. <laughs> I like watching them. I just, yeah. I don't get behind the scenes in the sprint car world for some reason. But, uh. So, if anybody out there has, uh, you know, if y'all are watching and, and, and you have diecast, I know I got one ordered right now that won't release till November uh, to put up here. Yeah. What you got? We got a butter bean. Nice. Coming. I got several we can switch out. Oh, yeah. For look, sure. For sure. I got a few more at the house. episodes, yeah. Yeah. I got a few more at the house, and I'm going to eventually cover this whole thing, and then we'll start swapping out and... Hang up some cool stuff. We're still yeah. going. We still got stuff to put on the walls, and you know, just other cool stuff, and try to make it look. Yeah, some racing pulling. memorabilia. Yeah. yeah, I think it's cool. So we got. I think we're off to we a good tire start. over here, signed by Scott Bloomquist. I ain't really figured out where to hang it. I might just put it right there. Mm -hmm. That might be a good spot. I don't know. We got all kind of cool stuff. We got a. Uh, and then we got room for guests on here to come right. in, and I think we got a couple lined up. Sweet. Waiting on dates, but yeah. we got them lined up, ready to come, and uh, so we, we're we're open to uh, anybody wants to come join us. So uh, just message us and talk to me, talk to Connor, whoever, and when you might come hang out with us if you want to. I promise you, it's not as glamorous as it looks. <laughs> 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 looking from this side is like whoa. Now you're looking at looking at the camera here is like hey, it ain't too bad. Look at here is like whoa. <laughs> Nah, this is in the uh, corner of the race shop, actually, and um, it's it's cool. It's, it is. Once we get everything done in here, we're still uh, still finishing up the rest of the walls. It'll be nice in here. Oh yeah. So uh, anyway, 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 well, like I said, if anybody's around, come out to Hartsville Airport this Saturday, ten to two. Uh, I'll be out there. Um, Connor might be testing. Who knows? Yep. Um, I do. If nothing else, I want to see a video of you racing the airplane. I'm going to tell somebody to go live with it. I just want to see how fast you get up to. On I a, do, too. On a runway. I'm going to have to put... I got to put my GoPro in there, but I'm going to put my big one that's got... Because it gives GPS and mm -hmm. should give me speed on there. Yeah. I'm not going to change the gear. So I'm still going to be running How much more is fifth gear? I mean, we're only in third gear, aren't we? Yeah, we're only so in we third gear. So we can go gear. four. We still got fourth and fifth to go. Yeah. So okay. I'll still be running so 342. Of... Now, I mean, I could, you know, you could go down to what is a 290, I think, is the lowest gear, which would give you too much speed, but I got to have some takeoff with yeah. a racing airplane. Right. 
I don't know how far we got to go. Um, I might have to go do some research. Yeah. I'm going to have to ask him what kind of plane I'm racing. Yeah. <laughs> F-18 or something. <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, but anyway. All right, guys. Appreciate it. Appreciate y'all coming on here, hanging out with us. And uh, appreciate y'all watching us from the uh, the new digs over here. And um, so uh, y'all check it out. And uh, we'll, I reckon we'll see y'all next week. Later.